and welcome back. Nyx here. Thank you for joining me. Let's jump right in. So last time we were trying to escape from a deadly storm and we had to run into these ruins. So let's see what we can find inside. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it won't be dangerous at all. And the runes are called... God, I don't even know how to say that. Kisilantlis? Kilantlis? Certainly. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see what we can discover. We gotta get out of here. Uh oh. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. What happened out there? Who attacked us? Glanfathins. Those would be the hut dwellers Odema warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloween, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odema, I think he have expected this once we lost the main road. The Glan Fathins said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glan Fathins don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What about everything, everyone else in our caravan? The wheels got hold of them now. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about all of this. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people you care about who still need you. Let's get going. Okay, which way should we go? Left or right? Let's go to the right. Also, you can use this button to Sharp see. Eyes and keen ears. It's called scouting, so it kind of lets you discover hidden things, and you can kind of like sneak up on enemies and get a sense of, you know, what is in what is ahead of you in the dungeon. So, like that looks like. Oh, he's actually not. He's he's friendly. <laughs> A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zorub. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. It's okay, I won't hurt you. The Zorub recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. <laughs> It sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Slow, wait, slowly back away. The Zorup watches warily as you go. I wonder if we can still Stay go quiet. in the room though, or if he's gonna freak out. Oh yeah, he's gonna freak out. Poor little guy, oh well, I guess we're gonna fight him. Yes. Gonna hit him with my flames. Hmm? Have Kalisha knock him down. Hayden, what hmm? can you do? He has a blinding strike. A dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see, inflicts extra damage, and blinds the target. Well, you might as well use that. Poor little guy. He should have just went the other way. Oh well. We'll take his stuff. Go we'll see what's in this pot. Shh. Oh, looks like a dead guy up ahead. What killed you? Is it a Zorup? Looks like he's got a journal. The small folio is torn in several places and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still leg legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Egwithin artifact. Fellow who had it said it was pretty 
It was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Salant Lease in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Interesting. Let's keep Wait, going to the right. Do you hear that? What? I don't hear anything. What is it? Uh oh. What is that? Mm -hmm. We'll send Kalisha to go attack it first. And then we'll all attack it. Give her a chance to get some thread on it. And it's dead. Certainly. What was that even? Is this a dead end? Oh, looks looks like there's a wall over here. What is Take a look at the wall. wall. Think we could get through? I don't know, maybe. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Push on it. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Kalisha is probably the strongest. We'll send her to push on the wall. She pushes with all her might and the crack begins to spread. Finally, the ancient masonry gives way. The wall crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. Nice. Two whispers and shadows. We're still gonna sneak, though. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. How can I help? What you need? We'll send Kalisha to scout around the corner. In case anything attacks, they'll attack her. That looks like a different place to go. Oh, oh, looks like there's some enemies over here. We'll send her to attack them first. Let now we'll all this. attack them. Oh, that hit her pretty hard. Here, you knock one of these down. Oh. How can I help? Yes. Well, I guess they didn't really need my character's help. <laughs> so those guys are dead. Looks like we can go to through here. And shadows. What's through here? Feels like there's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. That's good. Can't get us in here, hopefully. Oh, there's an enemy. Hmm. Ha! You do attack the spider. Two whispers and shadows. Looks like we're at some sort of crossroads. If we go back this way, this is the way we came. Oh, okay, we got past some sort of like puzzly thing. I worth a look. Oh, it's a trap. Let's see if we can disarm it. This will get us some good experience to disarm the traps. be a little bit boring but you get like 15 xp for disarming all the traps so you might as well do it Hayden's got the highest mechanic skill, so he's the one disarming everything. Nice. Wait, what's this door back here? Those tiles look suspicious. 
Let's be careful. Oh uh, yeah, we fixed them. And it, ended, it added something to our journal. What did it add? Come ac oh, across a section of tiles marked with peculiar symbols. There may be a clue about their meaning nearby. I don't see any clues about their meaning. Maybe through this door? What's through here? The symbols, just like the tiles. Okay. Looks like we can interact with those things. But why? Nice mural over here. This mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows the procession of Anguithins. Hey, I wasn't done reading. Anguithins from all the kith races, Almawa, Elf, Orlin, Dwarf, and Human. They walk among pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one topped with a flame. Oh, it's a type of puzzle. <laughs> so I think the symbols they're talking about are at the top of the pillar. Can we figure out which symbols that we have to interact with first? Let's see. I don't know why I'm sneaking, that's really slow. Hmm. Well, what do the symbols out here look like? I'm not the greatest at puzzles, so I might just like start clicking things and see what happens. <laughs> I can't see any like specific order to these. I'm pretty sure I did this puzzle before when I played, but I just like looked up the answer. Because <laughs> I'm lazy sometimes. Let's see what happens if we go interact with this pillar. A lined symbol is inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. So that's probably what it's going to say for all of them. But which one do we light first? And what happens if we light the wrong one? It doesn't really show on this mural. Well, let's find out. Let's go light this one maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did I just like choose the right way? Should I go hit this one or should I go hit the other one? I don't know. Okay. They're all lit now. I don't know what that does. I don't remember this from before. Let's go through here. Stay quiet. Uh oh. Ooh, they hit her pretty hard. Yeah, you knocked that leg over. Hmm? <laughs> the downside to this crossbow is it's just so slow Certainly. in attacking. I might choose a different weapon. Pick up literally everything. They'll never know I'm here. I still don't understand what all those braziers were about, or what it was supposed to do. <laughs> what is this thing? What is this? A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your water skin to clear off the ooze. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. Hmm. 
place a gem that I found in the eye socket. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. You have lost the Anguithin Relief Gem. Ooh! Secret passageway with an enemy. Finish them! Ugh, I hate that when they get kind of like hmm? stuck so you kind of have to move them out of the way so that they can attack better. Okay, let's see what we got. Some more ooze plasma. Certainly. Let's see. Ooh. Minor cloak of protection and some gems. So that's basically all that was in there, it looks like. Still pretty cool, though. I still have no idea what these braziers did. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Instead of, like, manually disarming all of these traps, I bet lighting all the braziers disables the traps. Oh, well, we did it the hard way. <laughs> I wonder... We go back here what's this way i like to explore everything like every single little corner so i try to go like the opposite direction of where you're meant to go so that you can explore like literally everything Quite. this is where we came from i meant to go over here like, what's down this side passageway I'm gonna have Kalisha scout up, scout out ahead. Where'd that slime come from? Yeah, where did that slime come from? Is there anything dangerous in here? Doesn't look like it. But there's some stuff to loot. Oh, sometimes like traps and everything have stay quiet. Like or chests or whatever have traps in them. So sometimes it's smart to like before you open something to open it in scouting mode. These are your camping supplies, which you can use to rest, which we will definitely be doing later. Let's get what's in here. What is this? Small shield and a torch. Nice. Okay, well, get some good supplies. Kalisha's kind of taking quite a bit of health damage, so it probably makes sense to rest soon. I don't want her to die. We still need her. Okay, now it's time to go through this big menacing archway. Oops, I didn't mean to camp right now. Shh. Actually, maybe we should. I don't know what's up ahead. Let's use one of our camping supplies. And depending on the character's survival skill, you can get like a bonus to camping that will last for... Um, until you rest again. So I'm going to give her a damage reduction bonus. So time, like, eight hours passes when you rest. But it restores all of your characters per rest abilities and replenishes their health. So now Kalisha is all set to go and she has the camping bonus. Let's, oops, I keep hitting Stay quiet. camping instead of sneaking. Send Kalisha up ahead first. I said just Kalisha, why do you keep walking? I just want Kalisha mm -hmm. to go. There she goes. Go attack the spiders! Mm -hmm. You should attack the big spider. How can I help? Attack the big spider. Knock it down. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Certainly. It's pretty easy in these first few levels. It's gonna get a lot harder later. Interesting. What's up here? Bloodstone. That looks like the way out, but there's still a side passage. What's in the Silence side passage? Silence surrounds me. Another dead guy. Oh, well, we're just gonna take all of their stuff. Okay, time to leave. We made it through the ruins. Let's see what's out here. Oh, interesting. Some creepy guys. 
four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, ominous and looking, looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Hmm. What is that thing? Whatever they're doing, it cannot be good. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried, while trying to not appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. Well, hey, they all got turned to stone. Oh no! You awaken to find your malaise has broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hayden and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Oh dear. I immediately loot their bodies. <laughs> Poor Hayden and Kalisha. Oh, and I leveled up. Let's see here. I get to pick a skill. 
Oh, what did, I wanted to read what it said about skills. But anyway, skills are basically they let you do certain things in the world. So stealth can let you sneak better in scouting mode. Athletics um, grants you second wind to recover endurance. And uh, in scripted interactions, it's used for physical feats like climbing, swimming, and jumping. Lore lets you use scrolls that kind of like have different abilities and also lets you like have different choices and convos. Mechanics really just kind of like focuses on traps and discovering hidden items. Survival gets you bonuses to like resting bonuses. So, and these are the levels that you receive the different bonuses. So I think I'm definitely going to focus on getting her some, some survival. And then maybe also focusing um, on either mechanics or lore. So that she has like the ability to... Um, especially for lore to use different like conversational abilities and things like that but survival is also important because the resting bonuses can really make a difference so i'm definitely going to give her one survival get to number two because then she can receive the healing multiplier multiplier and as you add um points it costs more to like add another point in I'm also going to give her one more to lore, I think. Maybe I will bump up her lore to four. Survival two. Okay. Now I can choose another talent. Let's see. There's class, offensive, defensive, and utility talents. So these ones with this icon are specifically paladin talents. So let's see what we've got. Intense flames augments the power of the paladin's flames of devotion, increasing its damage. Untroubled faith. The paladin's beliefs become more than just a sum of his or her actions, negating reputations that negatively influence faith and conviction. Well, that's kind of nice. The intensity of the paladin's faith deepens, granting them increased defensive bonuses to faith and conviction. When the paladin defeats an opponent, nearby allies gain endurance. That's pretty nice. The paladin's flames of devotion heal endurance in nearby allies. Then there are also different you like different like defensive or offensive talents you can take or utility talents like these are different healing abilities let's see maybe we will go upgrading our intense flames to give it some more damage because i want to focus more on being more of an offensive paladin with some support abilities and we leveled up poor kalisha and hayden whoa what's going on Starting to see things that cannot be good. We need to get out of here. Oh dear. These guys just crumble. At least I'm gaining some vessel flesh from them. What is this machine? This massive structure is formed of stone, odder, and copper and covered in strange glyphs. The air around it vibrates with an unusual energy. I think it's time to get out of here. What's our journal say? I have narrowly escaped the strange and deadly wind that tore through the valley, but now I am trapped in the ancient ruins the caravan master told us to stay clear of. I have escaped the ruins. Hopefully I can find the road and the way to Gilded Vale somewhere around here. That was where we were going before um, we were caught by the strange storm and got attacked by all those Glanfathans. So let's go to Gilded Vale. First we have to go to the Vale Wood. Will take us six hours to complete your journey from the Salant Lease to the Vale Wood. Whew. 
across the veil would. All on my lonesome. Uh oh. Found another dead guy. Let's see if we found anything that's worth equipping. You also have a stash where certain things get put in your stash, but um, characters also have their own inventory. I know I found this cool cloak of protection I might as well wear. She can't wear a helmet because she's a godlike. <laughs> Let's see what kind of weapons I picked up. I like just keeping a lot of stuff in my stash too to all keep it in like similar place. Maybe I'll keep the torch. Let's see here. And you can sort by cell value, enchantments, or item type. Give myself a rapier. Use my like my melee weapons. And you can compare different weapons. The rapier is faster than the mace. Battle axe. Dagger. Hatchets. Another mace. Could use a Zorup spear. <laughs> so like the bigger shields you use, like they have more deflection, but then you lose some accuracy, which makes sense. Huh, maybe I will use the rapier because it's pretty fast. We'll leave the spear. And I started with this brigandine, which is heavy armor, which um, has a negative 50% to my recovery speed, so that just means I use my abilities and things more slowly. What kind of armor did we pick up? I might keep the heavy armor, especially if I'm going to be engaging in melee more. And I don't really have any extra... I don't have any gloves or rings or anything that I can equip yet. You can click on the crafting tab and create potions or food. I don't really have a lot of ingredients yet. I could make a potion of wizard's double though. I don't think I'm gonna do that quite yet. Let's just see if we can find our way out of the veil wood. And I might not explore the whole thing right now because we can always come back to these places later so let's just focus on getting out of here finding our way to the gilded veil let's go through this creepy little passageway just basically ooh ghosts I see ghosts now apparently I see dead people can I cross right here is there another dead guy over here Oh, I can't leave you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh oh, an outlaw. Take my flames of devotion. Can see how fast, like, my rapier's faster. I can attack faster now. Just think. Dang, I keep missing. I'm hitting her for pierce damage. get some shut eye so now I have a fatigue um, this happens I think 
after you've gone a certain amount of turns without resting. So now I have a debuff because I haven't rested in a while, but hopefully we'll be able to rest once we get to Gilded Vale. I don't really want to waste any more camping supplies right now. Can you cross right there and get that? Uh oh, what's going on over here? Gilded Vale is probably this way. Oh, who's this guy? Nanton? <laughs> Hi, Nanton. Good day, stranger. Greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? Yep. The sooner you're clear of these woods, the better, I think. Our caravan was attacked. I've been trying to get to Gilded Vale. Hard luck, and I'm sorry to hear it. You should be fine from here. There's no missing the veil if you keep to the road. You haven't far to walk. But you want to keep clear of this place after that. I, we were just attacked north of here, me and a friend of mine. We came out here to hunt some deer. Came up on a bear instead. Great monstrous thing. And Pearly, he didn't make it. I don't know what I'll tell his wife. In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Who are you? Name's Nanton, born and raised in Gilded Vale. Haven't had a spot of luck since. Luckier than Pearly, though, I suppose. In any case, this forest already cost me a friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. What happened to your friend? We didn't see it coming. We were following a stag. Pearly, he saw something in the brambles, and we went tearing off after it. We all but stumbled into the cave. Poor Pearly didn't stand a chance. The bear was on top of him before we knew what was happening. The beasts will take what they will, I suppose. And this time, Galloween's favor fell upon the bear. Where did you find this bear? In a cave, a ways up that way. I wouldn't seek it out if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. We hate to hear that it took another life. Farewell. Okay, but now I'm curious, and now I feel like we have to go fight this bear before we go to Gilded Vale. So let's go do that. To the north. Also, there's a wolf, so let's go attack the Finish wolf. Them. And the wolf is dead. Oh, shall we get some shut eye? I know, I know that you need to rest soon, but we need to kill a bear. It's in a cave up here somewhere. There's the cave. I think we'll kill this bear and then this is where I will leave the video for now. Yes. And next time we will go to Gilded Vale. Certainly. See if we can kill the bear. We gotta go see poor Pearly. We might want a quick save though, just in case. Oh, there's the bear. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Maybe I could sneak up on it and do a sneak attack. Oh, nope, it's looking at me. Oh well. Ooh, it hits pretty hard. Ooh, it's got pretty high defenses. Oh dear, this might be more than I can handle so far. Might have to come back. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to come back later. Oh dear. Yup, I think we're gonna need to level up a bit and get some more abilities before we can attack this bear. Anyways, that is where I will leave you for now. Thank you for joining me and I hope you were enjoying the videos as much as I am enjoying playing them and sharing them with you. Have a great day!